Let me put you in the hot seat again. Maybe you okay. can leave me with some with some jewels before sure. you leave. Um, married 15 years. Have you been tempted by other women? How yes. do you handle that? How do you handle it? And did you get a seven year itch? You said you were married 15 years. Is a seven year itch for real? Because some people say it's real, some people say it's not. When you're when you're tempted, how do you stop yourself? Because I know when I'm in long term relationships, I'm like, God, but everybody's fine. But I'm just with this one person, right? And then you have to stay with that one person because you committed. But how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the temptation? Well, my, mine's a unique situation because it was like, I, I'd stop. I made a conscious effort never to be unfaithful to another when I was 25. I cheated on somebody when I was 25. It went really bad. She tried to kill herself. It was a big, big thing. So, and it just, it just, I never wanted to feel how I felt that type of situation. So I made a conscious effort never to be unfaithful. But like you said, the temptation is this, it, it, this is where I deal with it. And I got, I got, I got real lucky. I had a really great, actually a really great stepdad because my biological dad was like, peace out. But my really great stepdad, he was like this. He was like, and, and this is what I tell like cats. I'm like, look, say you get a job that's getting you $10,000 a month. All right. You, 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 you juiced. Cool. You know, first six months, you the man, you're showing up on time. You're doing what's asked of you. You, you are doing whatever you're getting your 10 racks every month. The sixth, seventh month, you were like, you know what? I, I could do this job in my sleep. You know, I'm going to show up some kind of, I'm, sometimes I might not even show up. I'm going to show up late, do a half ass job or whatever. And you get your paycheck and it's $6,000. And you go to the boss and like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the other four? He was like, look, when you signed up for this and you agreed, we agreed on a certain standard of behavior. And this would be the compensation for a certain standard of behavior. What's your value that you bring into me now? I value less. I value at six thousand dollars, not ten thousand dollars. And don't get me wrong, if you get back to where you were, you do your due diligence, you come every day, you show up, you know, maybe I'll give you can in the next four or five years, you can work your way back up to nine thousand dollars, but you'll never get the full ten thousand dollars because I just I don't I don't trust that you anymore. What I'm my 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 view is why would I want 60% of my my wife. Mm. When I got a hundred percent, why would I settle for 60% when I got a hundred percent of you now? If I can keep my dick in my pants, I get a hundred percent of you a hundred percent of the time. Why would I knock that down to 60%? Mm. Jen, make sure you edit this part out the video so I can use that later. Listen, I mean, seriously. First Listen, let, let me just, oh my God, let me respond to that. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. This is my new favorite person. His name yeah. is Damien. Let me, let me tell it's you all why. open the church I, in Damien's I, name, even though he doesn't believe in God. <laughs> let, let me tell you why that's so profound. I, I did, again, I did a stream about cheating and men not understanding that you no longer have the same woman in your house. I don't care if she looks the same, walks the same, talks the same, cooks the same, lays on her back for you. The woman you committed to and married has left yep. the relationship. She's gone. And I think a lot of men think because the women stay that she'll get over it after a while. That is no longer the woman you married or are committed to. She is not there. And men think she's still there. She is gone. It is broken. Yep. So now you're just with a woman who has to rearrange her mind, her life, everything about her to try and be with you and cope with, you're not who she thought you were. So that, I mean, the way you explained it was freaking amazing because that is what happens. I wish more men could hear that. I wish more women can hear that. It is no longer the same person. Yeah, like I said, and you'll never, no matter how you work, you, you, you'll only get, if you're lucky, you'll get it to 90%. But there's always going to be that twinge in the back of their mind, like waiting for that other shoe to fall. You know, you look at your phone funny or you start putting your phone face down when you leave the room or you take your phone. With, it's all that stuff is going, going, going to always be there. And like, I, 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 you know, I made I, I want to live the rest of my life stress free, peace free. I want to, you know, I wanna, you know, seriously. 
and and I just and I got I got you know I got a set example. I got sons, so I I got a set example. It's like they gonna remember this, mm. you know. And and my dad once said he was like, when your sons put you in that ground, you want them to look down and say, "There's a man in that hole." Oh, that's what I. That's my goal in life. Is